this lecture uh, is basically the practical topic for the respiratory system and uh, we will discuss the different components of the respiratory system in this lecture uh, starting with the uh, basics of the respiratory system on page number 302 of your Pasquini textbook uh, this is this page this page 302 is basically about uh, the introduction of uh, the respiratory system for example uh, in this paragraph uh, some basic function of the respiratory system uh, they are described in uh, the uh, basically the respiratory system is composed of the upper respiratory system and the lower respiratory system the upper respiratory tract is basically composed of uh, the nasal cavity and nasal pharynx which optimally warm or cool the gases uh, brought into the body. There are some fine hair present in the uh, nasal cavity which filter out large particles and smaller particles get stuck in the lining of mucosa. So then uh, some basic function of the uh, respiratory system which includes uh, the phonation which is the, ex which is the act of production of voice. Then we have uh, olfaction which is the uh, uh, sense of smell and then thermoregulation which is the regulation of the body temperature uh, through panting or evaporation so uh, beside all these function respiratory system also uh, it uh, regulate the balance of acid and base in the body so the first portion of the uh, respiratory system which is nose it is visible part of the respiratory system it is having two parts one is the fixed part and other is the movable part of the uh, nose the fixed part is having uh, bony boundaries and the movable part of the nose it is basically composed of different nasal cartilages so the external nose it is the uh, rostral part of the uh, nose which is visible and uh, you, you will also find a groove in the upper lip which also extends in uh, between the two external openings of the nasal cavity these are nares and this i'm talking about this groove this is philtrum philtrum is basically a groove which is uh, separating the nares and it also uh, extends uh, down to the upper lip then uh, the nostrils or the rostral nares these are the external openings or if we uh, move from external to internal so we we can also say that uh, the nostrils they open into the nasal cavity this bony nasal aperture uh, is uh, basically the rostral ends of the nasal bones and the incisive bones which are referred to as immovable part of the nose. The, the nasal cartilages form the movable part of the nose. Uh, there, are, there are different cartilages which form the movable part of nose. We will uh, 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 talk in the next uh, page or the next slide now this is uh, how the appearance of nose varies between uh, species for example uh, this is do dog ox and horse two external nares then this uh, median philtrum similarly two nares this light philtrum this in case of ox this whole region is termed as nasolabial plate it is comp like it is uh, uh, the region around the nostrils involving the upper lip it is composed of specialized 
Uh, now uh, we will talk about the movable part of the nose. Uh, we talked earlier that this movable part of the nose is composed of different uh, nasal cartilages. So this is basically the movable part of nose. It is composed of this median nasal septum which divides the two uh, nares or we can also say that this median nasal septum it divides the nasal cavity into two, two halves then uh, we have this dorsolateral nasal cartilage and this lateral accessory cartilage ventrolateral nasal cartilage median accessory nasal cartilage small g and this d which is again the dorsolateral nasal cartilage now in case of horse this movable part of the nose and its cartilages it is a bit different than ox and dog in case of horse the uh, nasal cartilages are comma shaped and uh, the major cartilage is alar cartilage this comma shape is basically the alar cartilage this hole and then this is the median nasal septum and then median accessory cartilage so uh, there is no lateral cartilage in case of horse which allow the expansion of nostrils uh, during race accommodating more air and hence more oxygen in the body then uh, the nasal cavity or nasal cavity uh, proper the external nares leads to uh, sorry lead to the external nares lead to the nasal cavity proper this is median nasal septum we talked earlier dividing the whole cavity into two halves the nasal cavity it is filled with concha concha are the mucosa covered turbinates bone present in the nasal cavity there are three concha dorsal nasal concha then ventral nasal concha and then this ethmoidal concha ethmoidal concha is close to the ethmoidal bone which is the caudal limit of the nasal cavity so concha are basically the mucosa covered turbinate bones now there are passages between the conchae which are termed as meatuses meatuses are the passages between conchae we have dorsal nasal meatus which is between nasal bone and dorsal nasal concha then we have middle nasal meatus which is between dorsal nasal concha and ventral nasal concha and we have ventral nasal meatus which is between ventral concha and floor of the nasal cavity so meatuses are basically the passageways now uh, this is another view of the uh, nasal cavity and in uh, case of horse you can see that uh, this a it is the dorsal nasal concha and then we have this labeled ventral nasal concha and in this picture you can see uh, the meatuses well described meatuses are the passageway between conchae and the dorsal nasal meatus which is b 
it is the space between uh, nasal bone and the dorsal nasal concha then we have uh, middle nasal meatus which is C small c it is the uh, passageway between dorsal nasal concha and the ventral nasal concha and it also leads to the caudal nasal cavity then the ventral nasal meatus it is between the ventral nasal concha and uh, uh, the hard palate or the floor of the nasal cavity and it leads directly to the uh, pharyngeal portion of the nose which is termed as nasopharynx then the naso uh, common nasal meatus it is basically a narrow vertical space between med median nasal septum and the conchi this space it is between the median nasal septum and the conchi from the roof of the nasal cavity to the floor of the nasal cavity and laterally it is continuous with other meatuses so the maximum space in the body oh sorry in the nasal cavity is between uh, this uh, ventral nasal meatus and the common nasal meatus this space this is the maximum space so a uh, nasopharyngeal meatus it is a short passageway which connecting the ventral nasal meatus with the caudal uh, nares or coenae on each side or both sides of the nasal cavity the caudal nares or coenae uh, the two openings of the nasopharyngeal meatus into the nasopharynx which are separated by a vomer bone you have seen this um, coenae while studying skull in the last semester now there is a nasal diverticulum which is located in uh, case of uh, horses it is the dorsal passage through the horse nostrils into a blind cutaneous pouch so uh, this is nasal diverticulum this portion is let me just label it for you this small c actually this nasal diverticulum is just the dorsal passage through the horse nostrils into a blind cutaneous pouch so uh, while uh, uh, tubing a horse with nasogastric tube uh, veterinarians uh, they usually place a thumb in the nasal diverticulum which aid uh, in uh, directing the nasogastric tube into the ventral nasal meatus and we talked earlier that the maximum space in the nasal cavity is between uh, this uh, nasal septum ventral nasal uh, common nasal meatus and the ventral nasal meatus the pink labeled 